How perfect is this situation, right? I mean, you're getting a chance to fight for the title. It's, it's in Houston. I mean, could you have drawn it up any more perfect than this? Um, actually, I did draw it up like this. I was the one. It was my idea. So I'm happy to be here. You know, obviously you saw a little bit of the fan push back to the interim title. Was that disappointing? I mean, I know it's not your decision to create the interim title, but was it disappointing to see people going like, oh, what is this thing about? Oh, I don't care. You know, um, I believe MMA Junkie was the first one to post something like that, try to get the fans' reaction. So it's all y'all fault. So you know, we just stirred up, try to get yeah, people turned against I know, you. I know. <laughs> Talk about you know being here in Houston though. Does it do anything? I mean, a fight's a fight, right? Once you're inside the cage, you're inside the cage. But having that crowd, that supportive crowd, I mean, does that does that do something for you? Does it change anything for you? Um, the way I fight, I believe so. You know, um, so I fight straight off emotion whenever I'm in there. So. I believe it will help me out a lot. Right, what, what, do you, what do you make of Cyril as an opponent? I mean, some of his fights uh, technical, but maybe not as exciting as, as maybe people would like. What, what do you think about him as a, as a fighter? Um, he's technical. You know, um, that's, um, that's good for him. I guess he's a good fighter. You know, I don't really don't keep track of him, keep up with his career. Um, so that's good for him. Have you done anything differently than the way you I mean? We know, we know how you fight at this point. We know what the plan is. Have you done anything differently in, in, in approaching this one? Yeah, just, um, I guess, running a lot more, you know, that's about it. Do so you think that's going to be the key, is that you got to be able to, to, to have cardio for five rounds? Is that, like, the, a big factor here? Um, It's not really to have cardio for five rounds, just be exciting for five rounds, you know, because he he is a boring fighter. He likes to um, sit back and do a lot of leg kicks and stuff like that, but I really want to have an exciting fight here in my hometown. Win, lose, a, the, win, lose, or draw, I want him to be exciting. Yeah, I was just saying, because I, th I think that's a concern a lot of people have. It's like, what if th it's just a, a standoff? Are, are you worried about that at all, that he's not going to try to push the pace and, and you're going to have to? Um, I believe he, he would want me to push the pace and try to counter something. He's going to try to attack the legs a lot, the body. You know, we, we believe that we got a great game plan for him. I know you always said, hey, man, the title, you know, it's, it's really about making money for your family, right? But at this point in your career, does it mean more? I mean, is this a special moment to, to have a belt? Um, I don't know. You know, I'm still really not even thinking about that. So, you know, um, my mind wasn't even – it's still not really on the title, you know, because I'm still getting paid whatever I'm getting paid. But – someone had to remind me the other day that it's for the title. And I'm like, I forgot all about it. And so it's whatever. You went here. Uh, how soon would you want to unify the titles? Is it something you like to do quickly? Or do you feel like you want a little time off before you have that fight? What's, what's the plan? Um, it really don't matter. Um, I would like to fight another uh, um, the end of the year. That'd be good. But if not, that's fine. Nice. Last thing for me, I heard there's a lot of people looking for tickets. Should they hit you up? Or do you have the connections for everybody? Man, y'all already know I don't have no more tickets. They already hit me over the head with them. <laughs> Dak, <coughs> would you like to defend the, the interim title or even fight for the unified title in Houston again, or would you go to France and fight in Ghana? No, I would like to go to Cameroon fight in Ghana. I don't want, I don't want to fight in my hometown, especially the main event again in my hometown. I, I thought it would be cool, but nah, it's a lot of pressure. Is it the pressure or just from people like uh, hitting you up? No, it's not them hit me up, they hit me up anywhere I go. Um, they come out of the Woolworths family, I didn't even know I had come out the Woolworths, no matter what city I'm in. But no, I would like to go somewhere else and fight um, for the title or whatever again. Do you think if you're, if you're in the cage on Saturday and then the fans start booing because Cyril's fighting his technical way, is that going to frustrate you or are you going to be able to block that out? No, I would block it out. You know, I know I can't rush in there and get caught with anything. He's still a dangerous opponent, you know. I can't let that dictate the outcome of me making some stupid mistake. Do you think this is going to be like one of those typical Derek Lewis fights where it's like the other guy's winning for a bit and then you just land a big right hand and end it and it's all over? I believe so, you know, because he's a real active striker. You know, I'm not with all that. I like to um, pick my shots and take my time. But if it's some openings there, if you get close enough, then I'm going to show up. Good stuff. Derek, you talk about your family a lot. Will your, will your kids be there to watch? And if so, does that give you any extra motivation? Oh, my kids don't give a damn if I'm fighting. <laughs> they don't care about that. They don't care. Who's, they always say, who cares? Even the neighbor kids say, you, your dad is famous. They say, we know, we don't care. <laughs> they really don't. All they care about is Roblox and um, Robux and 
playing video games on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, how old are they? They're 8, 10, and 17. But will they be there? No, no they don't. They don't care. Hey, Derek. Um, is the plan to walk out to Fat Pat again? Always, yes. Awesome. Fat Pat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> for the um, MMA fans watching, I'm from Houston. Can you share some um, other Houston rappers or maybe Texas rappers that maybe they should look look at outside of Fat Pat? Um, we got Trader Troop, Zero, um, Lil Kiki, Lil Flip, um, DJ Screw, um, Big Pokey, Shasta. Um, who else? Who else? Um, Slim Thug. Didn't that guy who tried to steal your car wasn't he a rapper? Yeah, he was up and coming. He was a bum dog. <laughs> Is he coming to the fight on Saturday? I hope he does. I hope he does. Yeah. He's probably cheering for Cyril. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs>